Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had finished up with Soldier's Peak and had gotten back into Caradon's Cross and cleared out, I think, all of it. It would help if I hit the right button. Yeah, more or less all of it. <laughs> We've cleared out, the majority of which would be an issue, I think. We go further down this way to confirm. Yeah. That's confirmed there. And we go this way. This will reconnect us with the main road here. The path that I didn't take. At least when we first entered Caradon's Cross, anyway. And here we are. And I'm pretty sure that is every area of Caradon's Cross completed. Yeah? Yeah? I think I'm right in that regard. There's nothing further there. Yeah, no, I think I'm correct. I think I'm fairly correct in that regard. Okay, so that means I have to go all the way back. Joy. I might just fast forward this <laughs> just to be quick so be right back And here we are. I told you I was fast-forwarding it. I didn't actually cut. Huh? Yeah? Reggie, please tell me you didn't actually cut, please. <laughs> okay. Now, let's head into this area to go to Orton Taig. <sighs> it's time to go. Tits of my ancestors, Wartan Taig. I never thought I'd see this place in the flesh. Charming I phrase. I see Bronca all over this place. She always took chips from the walls at regular intervals when she was in a new tunnel. Checked their composition. If she was still here, though, she'd have centuries out by now. What can you tell me about these ruins? This was Keridan's home, Taig. He was an Orton before he got raised to Paragon. Even stayed here when he could have had his own house. I mm -hmm. guess he didn't want to move his people to Bunamar. What's Bunamar? The City of the Dead. Oh. Keridan built it to honor the Legion of the Dead. But it was more like a sodding mausoleum than anything. Mm. Of course, that was all before he built the Anvil. After that, he was the city's pet genius until he angered the king and fell into disfavor. Sounds a bit like your wife, a little bit. Although I don't know about that angering the king part. Uh, so there was a city here? No. No, there was a taig here. The Orton Taig. Bunamar is north and west of here. But that's not important. Or at least I hope it isn't. The City of the mm. Dead is known as the Dead Trenches since the Darkspawn conquered it. Oh. Much of the Legion was destroyed when the fortress fell. Well, crap. And you have no idea where this anvil is. No one does. At the time, Orton Taig was almost part of the main city. No one bothered to mark where the anvil was stored. Oh, now okay. it's impossible to know if it's been moved or even destroyed. But trust me. If we find it, we find Bronca. Alrighty. Well then, let's get going. Couldn't have said it better myself. Alright. Ahead we go. What will be ahead of us? Hell if I know. So you can turn into animals, I. Like cats and wolves. 
when the desire strikes me. Have you ever, uh, you know, went into Venter? That's a most curious little mind you have, Dwarf. And what if I had? Would that thought comfort you during your lonely nights? <sighs> have you ever changed? Okay. Why are you suddenly asking me this? How do we know you're truly a woman? Or even a human? Okay. You could be a chip mouse. Ogryn. Nug. <laughs> Imagine that. Why, yes. I am actually a nug in human form. I have come to observe your kind. <laughs> Nugs are good with extra sauce. I'm just saying. Okay, Ogryn. You have some interesting thoughts floating through that drunken head of yours. Let's keep them there, shall we? Well, that is a lot of dead things. Spiders and an ogre. Interesting. Well, I guess we continue down this way. Darkspawn corpse. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to toss that into junk as... I don't know if I'll toss that in there. Got some giant spiders, though. Up. And tiger crawlers. There we go. There we go. That's one down. And the last one... Whoop. Is there. Never mind. Apparently there's more. There we go. And more darkspawn crap. In fact, I'm getting coins off of spiders is a little weirdly interesting. Now I gotta get rid of this again. There we go. And we're good. Fractured stone. Get some of that. Alright. Well we cleared out this little area at least. And more spiders. Going somewhere else. Oh. Watch out. I see. <laughs> You're attacking the ogre when the spiders are doing just a bang up job taking it out. Alright. <laughs> okay. I was about to say, we might as well just hang here for when they inevitably turn on us. There we go. Ooh, I got a level up. Nice. Cool. Alright, let's use that level up, shall we? Ooh, I can get another specialization, but I don't know if I want to do Temple. <laughs> I'm, I think I want to wait until either Champion or Reaver pop up. Uh, I really want to wait until then. So, for the moment up strength a little further. Uh, hmm. And maybe up uh, dexterity a lot further. And then we're done with coercion. Don't need to level up that any further, I don't think. And I need to wait until I get Master Combat for all of these. These for Punisher. Then Whirlwind, I need more Dexterity in Combat. Okay. If that's the worst I have to wait for, then... I don't have uh, that many issues. Hmm. Perfect Striking. 
wouldn't be terrible. Uh, disengage. That might be useful, actually. That might be very useful. All right. And another tactic slot acquired. Beautiful. All right. Um... Hmm. Self, any, uh, activate mode, no. Okay. Disengage doesn't actually work as a mode, it's just a ability. Didn't read that much of it, honestly. <laughs> so, that's fine. Um, hmm. I guess... Hmm. Berserk. I guess that's how we're going to do it. Just, uh... If I'm not controlling him, then it'll turn on itself. Speaking of which, uh... Huh. Isn't there something better we could be doing? Killing things, perhaps? You're going to get your chance. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Just making sure everything's turned on the way I want it to be. Well, more spooters and dark spawn fighting each other. And y'all insist on <laughs> picking them off from a distance when we could just watch the fight unfold and then wait for them to come to us. But okay. Well, hi there. <laughs> ah, that's great. There's few enough of them as is. And I had a feeling that was going to happen. Okay. I'm covered in spider webs. And I'm waiting for an opportunity to do my swing. There we go. It'd help if you actually moved. Shriek Alphas. Okay. And... Good. Fantastic. Now we get to loot everything. <laughs> it looks like there's a chest over there, too. Cool. Good to know. Time to loot all of the bodies. There we go. Good. Whoa, 63 <laughs> silver off of him. Wow. And, of course, that's locked. Okay. Leliana. Thank you, even though it was worthless. I appreciate your effort in getting it. Speaking of efforts, efforts, gloves. I really need to figure out who I should give those to. Hmm. Maybe, Ogryn? Maybe. If I get the full suit, maybe? It's an idea, at least. Okay, there seems to be two paths here. That way and that way. I am unsure. Okay. There seems to be a lot of things... Pointing that away. So I'm going to assume this is not the critical path. And I'm going to go this way. Because I want to see if there's more loot to obtain. And I am correct. Warrior's Grave. The stone take this topsider as she would her own. He was born to air and sky, but has served the deep roads better than a native son. Many will see another day because he fought at their side and fell in their stead. We don't know his rights, and I fear the loss of his family blade may cause unrest on whatever journey he faces. But we know him as brother in blood, 
and extend that which is sacred to us. Willem Trilmont, if the path home is dark, the stone is honored to have you in the foundation. So apparently he did prove himself quite a bit. Considered a fool before, buried in honors. Impressive. And more spooters. Again, running away from me and going towards combat of a different type. Oh great, another two paths. Fantastic. That's what I want. Of course. Of course. Are we going to eventually... I had a feeling where I didn't want to move. Okay, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Unless someone pulls me out of here, I'm screwed. Okay. You say as I'm in over my head. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Exhibit A. Alright. Money, money, money. As little as the coin is, I'm still surprised I'm getting coin from them, period. But, oh well. Okay. What the what? Spirits. Got it. Okay, well, I'm confused. Since when were ghosts a thing? Ow. It's time to start beating this thing. I don't have a choice. Okay. Right. And they're gone. Well, that's good. I guess. Just making sure no one else has injuries or anything. Okay. Well. Ooh. Speaking of injuries, got an injury kit out of that thing. I finished. Of course. Of course. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Nowhere. They're all gone now. Me. Dwarven longsword. And it wasn't even good quality. Ah, oh, man. All of that effort for basically nothing. Yeah, well. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. And this was the other path I could have taken, right? Yes. Okay. So here we are in Orton Taig. What a dump. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> what a dump. Like... Cleveland or London. Not right. I can feel it. Oh yeah. You might be right in that regard. I, am I had a feeling that was gonna fucking happen. And of course I get covered in spider webs before I can do any combat. There we go. Okay, could someone help me, please? You're just sitting there missing. You actually hit, please. Thank you. My gods. Ogren, you are too drunk. Uh... <laughs> Dwarven large round shield. Okay. 
harsh. Okay. This is not that great. All right. Whatever. Into junk it goes. Ooh. Okay. She's standing over the dark spawn. And more dark spawn stuff. Something for you here. It's mine. I've claimed it. Who are you? What are you doing here? You've come to take my claim. You surfaces are all alike. Thieving scoundrels. Well, I found it first. Bah. He's a bloody scavenger. Good as sod and gone. Be gone, you. You'll bring the dark ones back, you will. And they'll crunch your bones. The dark one? Word has it you could only survive down here by eating the dark spawn dead. Oh. Well, considering we know that the blood is poison. Dark spawn blood is poison. Men have died from drinking it. It, it burns when it goes down. It burns. It's my claim, not yours. Crunch your bones. I think we've alerted something to our problem. Yeah, we've alerted a number of spiders. But you know, that's kind of the norm down here. Been a lot of spiders. More than a few. More than a few, that is for sure. Alright. Time to help them out. I was about to say, I hope Morgan is trying to bother... Uh, nope. She didn't get a chance to heal herself all that well. And because this thing kept biting at her. Welp. Time to do that and that and then do that again. There. Better. Iron ring. Really? I'm getting rings out of these things? Okay. Well, might as well grab this. Orton Tyke chest. Orton records. Oh, yeah. I remember now. That was for that one lady in the shape of it. That's right. I remember now. Oops, that's not the way I wanted to go. I wanted to go here so I could throw that into junk. See how my inventory is sitting. Eh, I'm getting a little full. A little bit. But it's fine. It's fine. Top Ciders Palmer. Pa Palmer? Palmer? <laughs> really? Is that what my... Top Ciders Pommel is what I was trying to say, but apparently my mouth then tried to combine Top Cider and Pommel. An admirable Top Cider. And this is apparently the second entry... I swear, Morta Mortavald? I'm, I'm guessing that's correct. I've never seen the like. This elf fought like a man possessed. His strikes were light and did not echo on the stone like those of our greatest, but the precision was that of a shaper carving a memory across the dark spawn. Damned if we didn't raise our glasses to him last eve and shared stories of honored family. With a topsider. In the lyrium glow, he looked no more out of place than any of us. Makes me think of Cousin Burn. I wonder how he fares on the surface. I think if he sends another letter, I will read it. Ties of kin should be stronger than where we choose to do business. I see. And more dark spawn corpses. And more junk. Ooh, almost missed this. Can't miss that. Can't miss anything. Go away. This is mine. Go 
Only I gets to plunder its riches. Uh I just want to talk to you. No, no talking. You leave my territory. I'm not here to steal anything, I promise. You you won't take anything from Ruck? You won't take his shiny worms or, or pretty rocks? If it's valuable, I might trade you for it. Oh, Ruck not mind that, maybe. So your name is Ruck? Yes, Ruck's my name. I do not hear it much, so sometimes I like to speak it out loud. <laughs> Ruck, Ruck! Rock! I think I met your mother. Is her name Filda? No, 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 Filda. No mother. No warm blanket and stew and pillow and soft words. Rock doesn't deserve good memories. No, 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 no. Doesn't deserve. Okay. Bit of survivor's guilt alongside being poisoned by the dark spawn meat in blood Ugh. okay I do not envy your position my friend your mother misses you she asked me to find you she, she did not know not what I did I was very 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 angry and, and then someone was dead and they wanted to send Ruck to the mines if I went to the mines she, she would know everyone would know so I came here instead once you eat once you takes in the darkness, you not miss the light so much. You know, do you not? Ruck sees. <laughs> yes, he sees the darkness inside you. So eating the meat and the blood also gives you some of the abilities that the Wardens have. I am a Grey Warden. It's not the same. Grey like the stone. Guardian against the darkness. You have to tell your mother you're alive. No, 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 she cannot. She remembers a boy, a little boy with bright eyes and a hammer, and she cannot say that. Swear, promise, vow you won't tell. Would you rather think, would you rather she think you're dead? Yes, yes. T tell the mother Ruck is dead. He's dead, and his bones are rotting in the crawler's webs, and she should never look again. All right. I'll tell her you've died bravely. Yes, that's what Ruck is. Dead. Dead like bones that turn to dust when you touch them. Okay. Good friend is back. A good friend won't make Ruck remember the light. How can Ruck help the friend? Do you have anything to trade? For you, yes, Ruck has many things. He can give them, and you don't even have to give him shiny coins. No, <laughs> but you can if you want. Interesting. Interest. Whoa. <laughs> he has a lot more than I thought he would. Shield of the Legion, okay. That's a targe, so it's not that great. But, though blued and hardened, there is a subtle reflection on the reverse of the shield. While it may be raised against the world, the bearer can't escape his own visage in what is owed. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. Heavy dwarven helmet? Whoa. <laughs> that is a lot of money, but it is also dragon bone. Hmm. It would technically be better armor wise than what Ogren got but doesn't give stamina regeneration so it's not even worth it really destructionist's belt mana regeneration and spell power what does Morgan have plus three willpower and mental resistance I don't see why I would bother. Whoa, Ring of the Warrior. I forgot that I even had that. Two strength, two dexterity. And it's better than Surveyor. 
Okay. I'll, I'll put that on later. For sure. I'll sell that. Um, you don't have anything of this that is worthwhile to me. You have a lot of deep mushrooms, though. A lot of life stones, too. Interesting. But not much more. Ooh, etched silver symbol. A simple holy symbol made of etched silver. Well, if it's that cheap, I might as well pick it up. Uh, sell all the rest of my junk. That's fine. That's fine by me. And yeah, I think we're... Armor of the Divine Will. I need to look into that. It's restricted to Templars. Negative 5 magic, but a whole lot of spell resistance and a whole lot of armor. Armor such as this is typically granted by the Chantry to no lower than a Knight Vigilant and is relinquished only through the greatest shame or outright death. To a man, Templars prefer the latter. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, still have our own little vendor down here. That's nice to have, actually. That means I don't have to Looks run like to the surface. Pickers living in Bronca's old camp. Did you see the marks on the floor? There were a lot of people in fires there once. Now I know she's not here anymore. She'd never have let something like that sleep in the same spot she did. Fair enough. Well, then maybe he knows a bit about the location. Good friend is back. Good friend won't make Ruck remember the light. How can Ruck help the friend? Uh, I have a few questions, actually, now that Ogren told me that. Your questions. I appreciate that. Um, did you find anything unusual at this camp? Bits of things, but only bits. Crawlers they took almost everything. They, they take things of steel and things of paper. They take the shinies and the words. Paper and words. That sounds like someone was taking notes. Do you think Bronca camped here? You just they bring said the great nest. The nest they makes for the eggs. They put the shinies inside. They do. When did you arrive here? Too long ago. I must think. Five years. Six. Ruck no longer remembers the smells and sights of the city. Hmm. Fair enough. How did you survive here? When the dark ones were here. I kept to the shadows. They don't look in the shadows. Not if you're quiet. Not if you eat their flesh. Then the dark ones think you're one of them. They leave you alone. But now they're gone. Hmm. Do you know where the dark ones went? I think they went south. Far, far to the south. That, that is where the dark master calls them. Hmm. He's talking about the archdemon, huh? Yeah. After the dark master awoke... He called his children, and they all went, and wanted to go too, and gaze upon his beauty. So, you also get that calling. I wonder if it's stronger when you're eating the meat and blood instead of just the blood. It's entirely possible. Where is the master now, do you know? He stopped calling. I wish I could go see him. Ruck is a coward. Hmm. Stopped calling. Interesting. But there are still giant spiders here, correct? The crawlers. They used to eat the smallest dark ones. Genlocks? Now the crawlers go hungry. Okay. I should go. Enjoy your tainted mud, you poor sodding duster. It's not so bad. The, the dark and the burning keeps Ruck warm. Warm like mother's arms. Get away from me, you sodding freak. Look at him. He's like a pale mudworm. He should have been sent to the mines. Instead, he chose this. I'd put him out of his misery. We'll leave him for now. He's useful as a vendor. There's no reason to take him out just because of his situation. And you said it yourself. He chose this. Who are we to decide that that is not a fate he deserves? And for all we know, it is. Danger approaching. 
Well, I mean, it doesn't approach per se, but it's definitely uh, visible. Now it approaches. All right. All righty. You are not... There we go. Okay. Well, I'm stunned, but, but that's fine. There we go. Stop it. Oh. Didn't know golems could do that. Interesting to find out. They have a slam ability that stuns everyone around them. About to say, I need to do that to target this putz. Down you go. Bye bye. I can't go into some of these buildings, and that's mildly annoying. Dwarven armored gloves of silver, right? Okay. Mythical sight of power. Not sure what that was about, but all right. Altar of Sunder. Is that what's involved with those parts of the body that I collected? Is that where that's supposed to be? It wouldn't surprise me if that's the case. A book. Keridan's Journal. Interesting. Kind of want to read this. Nine forty, forty-fifth day, fifth year of the reign of King Valtor. I have done it. The vision of the ancestors gave me. The vision the ancestors gave me has come to fruition. Today, a man set up from my forge, a man of living stone and steel. I called him Gollum, for the legend of those great statues animated by the dead. They are our future and our salvation. Sixtieth day. It is a horrific process. Not every man could do such a thing and survive with his mind intact. I am honored that the ancestors believe that I have the strength to bear this burden and forge Orzammar's defenders. Nothing so great may be achieved without sacrifice, nor may stone and steel walk without a spirit to animate them. Seventy-third day. I have asked for volunteers. Some few answered, men of the warrior caste, younger sons with no property, no chance for marriage. They want to defend Orzammar from the horrors these humans have unleashed. They want to live forever in a body stronger than the finest armor. They do not ask to speak with those who have gone before. I have put off saying this even in these pages, but I must say it now. My golems will be powered by their deaths. These brave warriors come to me, naked as they were born. I dress them in the skin of armor, so large it makes the burliest look no more than a babe. The anvil, their first and final cradle. We are surrounded by a mile of earth on all sides. No one hears the screams as I pour molten lyrium through the eye holes, the mouth, every joint and chink in the armor. They silence quickly, but the smell lingers. Just a trace of blood and the greater stench of hot metal. I must work fast. The armor is malleable now, as I shape it with hammer and tongs. It is not long before it moves beneath my hands, writhing and twisting with every blow. It speaks again now, a low moan, but I have learned to tune it out. I can afford no error in this craft. There can be no melted slag blinding the eyes, nor an unhewn bit of granite shake shackling the leg. They groan at my work, but would they rather be broken, crippled? Those I have spoken to tell me of the pain, but could see themselves could they see themselves, they would see perfection.
Okay. Alrighty. So. Golems are made. From people. Shale was made from a person. Wow. Okay. Wow. Uh, that is uh, quite the twist. Gold ring. Uh, just going to equip that there. Uh, equip you with this, I guess. That's probably a good idea. Electro willpower won't hurt anything. I'll give you another gold ring, why not? And give you another iron ring, why not? Okay. Huh. Sorry, I'm kind of sitting here processing that info. All this time, they praise the genius of Keridin. Meanwhile, Keridin was subjecting people to that. Be able to make these golems. Watch out. Got it. Okay. Well, I kind of feel bad killing them now. go. Slowly take these guys out. Slowly but surely. Okay. Okay. about to say, it looks like I'm running out of stamina, finally. <laughs> Alright. There we go. And... Combat is done. I'm going to feel bad the entire time I'm fighting these guys, aren't I? <laughs> I feel like I am. It feels like I'm just going to feel bad for the golems the entire time I'm fighting them. To get through here. Okay. And it wasn't even worth it. It wasn't even worth the effort. Okay. Whatever. Toss that away. Some fractured stone here. I really should just do that. I really should do that. Just to get that thing done and over with.
I won't do it this episode, but I might as well just get set up over here so I can do it. There we go. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Because, well, I still gotta process the whole info about golems and the fact that they are actually people given a stony granite steel form horrifically but nonetheless Jesus okay thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more click the like button if you like this particular video and share and comment so we can bring more people into this community we can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see y'all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and Trying to process the info that I just learned while also traveling through Orton Taig. And uh, since I'm here, I've gotten the records uh, for that one lady in the shape of it. I found out Ruck is still alive, although very severely uh, mentally disturbed due to the fact that he's surviving off of eating Darkspawn. Uh, so we're just going to tell his mother he's dead. And then we have this little thing here where I grabbed all the body parts for a evil thing and we're going to put them back together and see what happens, I guess. But that'll be next episode for you.